Hey. Hey, you. I see you standing over there. Come here. Take your shirt off. Yeah, I, I like it. Go ahead, take your pants off. Very nice. Now turn around and bend over and show me how much you want to be on road to pose. Today today we have Lunchbox. <laughs> uh, your local Scruffums MC. Ibby. That power nerd. And special guest. Dan versus the world. Wah! <laughs> Rolling that shit. <laughs> he totally just premature rolled all over the table. Dan, it's okay. Dan premature rolled. It's okay. It's, it's all right. He it was he was excited to get rolling. I know. Yeah. Way too excited. <laughs> all right. So we have already gotten rolling. <laughs> yes, we've gotten rolling. <laughs> That was wonderful. That was. Yeah, it was like, all that smooth talk he did. Yeah. I know. I feel like I popped I about, his cherry. I was about to bust my dice. <laughs> I think I was blushing, and I turned around, like, so no one can see me since I have a rolling chair. It's like, no, nope, don't look at my shame. <laughs> my goodness. Uh, well, anyways, now that everybody's got half an erection, let's... <laughs> half erection. <laughs> Let's talk about stuff. How yeah. was everybody's last two weeks? Awesome. Wonderful. So good. <laughs> so many oh. things. So good I'm taking it. <laughs> so good. I mean, uh, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't the first person to premature ejaculate in here, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. You don't want a black leg in the roll to post. Either. No, you, you don't want that. You uh. don't want that. Our friends are so much cooler than yours. So much. Oh. And I'll keep saying it. My <laughs> friends are cooler than yours. All right, tell us why, you dicks. <laughs> <laughs> so we got an invite to the pre-screening of uh, Age of Ultron. Yeah. The pre, so the pre-ejaculation. Of the pre-ejaculation. The pre-pre-screening, because they did a pre-screening on Wednesday, Yep. and we got to go on Monday. Exactly. Woo! Woo! Hipster status. <laughs> elite Me level. <laughs> I gotta do it to you Yeah, guys. that's right. Oh, that's right. We even saw it before Nerdist. Yes. I can't believe it that. It was great. Shit. I just saw their review about it, and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. They didn't even get to see it yet. <laughs> ah, ski everywhere. That's pretty awesome. So, um, where did you guys go? We went to Denver. Yep. Um, at the Colorado, it's basically the theater that's attached to the Dave and Buster's up there. That's right off of I twenty five. United Artist. Yeah, the United Artist Nine. Was it like a huge IMAX screening, or was yeah, it, it was yeah. it was full on three D three D everything. Oh, you did three D. Mm-hmm. Yep. So should we do three D? I see it, see it two D. I, yeah. I really wanted to see it two D, and yeah. when they handed me the glasses, I was like, ah. Oh. I mean, it's, either way, you're going to enjoy it. So it's, it really doesn't matter. Three D, four D. Three D, awesome. It's like, really D? good. It is really good. <laughs> <laughs> 4D, what like you're standing awesome, there. Like you're <laughs> the, the movie. <laughs> it's good. Go and like, see it in four dimensions. You'll see the first here. Avenger, the second Avenger, and the Avenger movie that's coming out in 2018 all at the same time simultaneously. <laughs> 4D is the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but seriously, the the effects and everything that are in it, the 3D is done extremely well. Uh, the only thing that made me nauseous throughout the whole entire thing was the roller coaster ride at the very beginning. Which was really yeah. just the ad for the uh, theater. Yeah, I was just like, oh god. <laughs> yeah. When that shit came on, I just looked at the floor. I was like, yeah. I can't, can't, can't do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, I love 3D. Good. I like taste 3D. I think it's something to do with glasses. It's, it's the glasses. It's my glasses. It's all your glasses. <laughs> it's the Ray. glasses. Trust me. <laughs> no, I hate 3D too. It's fucking worst. <laughs> it's the, 3D is I still hate does. real life. It's like real. <laughs> but it is it is very visually appealing either way. Were people loud and annoying or were they respectful nerds? Oh, uh, well, we had one asshole whose phone decided to go off uh, 15 minutes before the movie ends. In our same row, which is the worst part. Everybody, everybody just, just kind of Everybody, like, all you see is people start turning around. I was like, he's about to get his ass whooped. Dude, I can imagine like, everybody just standing up get and, him. like, murdering Get him out of here. 
<laughs> Dude, like the movie started, people were clapping their hands when certain characters showed up. People were clapping their hands. Like it was, it was. People full were on. all about it. Yeah, it was great. It was all a really good about screening. It. Well, I'm sure the only people, like the people who get invited to that, should be the people who are super stoked to see those movies. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there were a lot of people that were just like business owners. The guy that I was sitting next to owned a flooring company. Yeah. And just happened to get an invite for it. He was just like, oh, I just know somebody, and they invited me to see this movie because they knew I was interested. <laughs> I'm making Hulk And that's basically words. how it happened to me. One of my friends I used to work with is dating a girl who does marketing for movies. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot of pre-screenings in my near future for me. Maybe. Us. No, nah, there is no maybe. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends on Facebook now. <laughs> We're next. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> So, I mean, <clears throat> so if you're listening, definitely be on the lookout for contests, um, especially if you're in the Colorado Springs or Denver area. There will be contests coming up to, you know, so that way we can invite you guys out, too. You can hang out with us, maybe have dinner, definitely catch the movie up there. So be be on top of it. We're doing the posters as well. Um, yes. So not to mention the pre-screening, I have a ton of of posters to give away that are collector's posters. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I will not be giving you the Batman versus Superman ones because those are mine and those are only handed out at that premiere. Yeah. <laughs> but there will be some others that we will uh, be looking to give out, so stay tuned for that as well. Yeah, we're, now, we're super excited. Now, on to the movie, though. Um, no spoilers. <laughs> no, don't worry, no, spoilers. Don't worry. no spoilers. No spoilers. It's not even out yet. It's not midnight. Yeah. So, so we won't be dicks. We're not going to do that to you guys. This does but come out on Friday. It does. But you guys haven't seen it. So, so I mean, we haven't seen it. You know, we've we seen it on Monday, you know, for everybody else. Because yeah, my friend. My <laughs> <interest in this. laughs> gotcha. But, so um, good. There are a few things that you should probably know, though. Um,. Throughout the movie, there is people of interests that you need to pay attention to because they are going to play an lots integral of, part. Lots of visual motifs exactly. in, this, in this movie. I mean, it's Joss Whedon directing yeah, this. Whedon. So he puts a lot of like underlying themes. He's the man. He's exactly. so good at And you just shit. you have to pay attention because they're going to mean something later. So I mean, so definitely be... And he makes it very obvious. So it's not like... Oh, like you're gonna see it once. You're gonna see it multiple times throughout the movie. Yeah, he's really good at it. It's like hints at future movies and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, definitely go see it. Even if you're not a nerd and you're just into the movies, you will be oh, it's very happy. Worthwhile. Very worthwhile. Better um, than the original. Oh, I loved it. I, like, don't get me wrong. I liked the first Avengers quite a bit. Yeah. But this movie, just like. Smack, boom, you're in it. Go. Yeah. That's all you get. <laughs> yeah, nice. So if you're if you're a Agents of Shield fan, uh definitely catch up before you go see the movie. Yeah. Because it kinda like it gets you set up and ready for the new Avengers movie because as soon as the Avengers movie starts, that's where they left off on Agents exactly. of Shield. Exactly. Yeah. So it's th- they did it again. Yeah. I mean, with Winter Soldier and this. They're doing a fantastic job tying everything together. Yep. It all fits yep. in one thing. It's great. So, and we won't say, if you haven't seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., then, you know, we'll just leave that alone. Yeah, um, why are we watching that? Like, seriously, why aren't we watching that? Scene? It's, it's <laughs> Firefly yeah, in the Marvel Universe. I think, I think we just keep forgetting. Like, so somehow. So good, guys. It just, we're like, what else should we watch? And then we just keep forgetting. It's so good. Right, but I do have one quarrel with the movie. La, 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 la. <laughs> it, but it's already things that everybody already knows. Everybody knows Scarlet Witch is already in the movie. Everybody knows Scarlet, you know, yeah. uh, Quicksilver is in the movie. That, so. Yeah. So, do you hate her? Is it the actress? No. Is it the Olsen twin? No. Did she ruin it? No, 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 no. no she is the Olsen twin. Yes. She is extremely well, not hot. The twin. She's well, she's the other uh, baby sister. Right. Yeah. She's extreme. She's she more. Does, she's hotter than her sisters. She does I will a great say that. Job. She is. She's very. Great. Um. They downplay her powers a little bit. A little bit. Um, and then they don't follow a storyline with her? No here's, no. here's the thing. Fox fucks everything up. Exactly. They own the rights to Mutant. Oh. And it pisses me off because they have to go other ways around it. 
They call them powered. Yeah, just powered. the powered people. Yeah. But it's... The way they come about getting their powers pisses me off. And it's just like, no, they were born that way. Yeah. Oh, they don't do it like that? No. Oh, come on, she's a mutant. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the problem. Because oh, fuck yeah. Fox. Fuck Fox. Uh, okay. And their stupid So it's asses. not the actress's fault. No, no it's definitely, they do a, pheno- all of the actors do a phenomenal it's a li- job. It's a licensing thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same problem that they're going to have with the Hulk, where like, I think whoever, either Fox or Sony, whoever owns the rights to Hulk, owns the rights to make a Hulk movie, but Marvel owns the rights to have the Hulk in the Avengers. So, like, yeah, that's just yeah. fucking licensing, licensing shit. Yeah, and That's it's, really the only thing that's holding anything back if nowadays. If only they could just own... But I mean, I I'm excited, like, though. If only I'm Hollywood excited. didn't suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. only they could all just work together as, like, a beautiful communistic paradigm society <laughs> where everyone shares everything <laughs> and every movie is the greatest. She's, she's probably one of my favorite episodes. Yeah, Scarlet Witch was pretty fucking badass in this movie. Yeah. And not to mention, also another thing... Oh, no, I can't say it. No, but, Quicksilver <laughs> was awesome too. Yeah, like, Quicksilver great was great. I mean, they point at a lot of things and you're just like, Yes! Let's I go can't see it tonight. Wait. What are we doing? Let's go see it right now. Stop the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we still got a, a few I'm hours down. till midnight. Never we'll just mind. bring the podcast with us. <laughs> <laughs> the longest podcast ever. We're going to take it. We're going to put it in the car. We're all going to like car yeah, just, just You're going right. to hear us walking around. <laughs> put the phone in his pocket like you got butt dialed. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to be talking about you like you're not we're, there. We're not going to do that. Sorry. <laughs> but it's uh, Age of Ultron was a phenomenal movie. If you're waiting to go see it just because it's an opening weekend and I don't want to see it on opening week, fuck that. Go see the movie <laughs> right now. It doesn't, yeah, it it's doesn't so matter. Good. This isn't going to be posted till tomorrow, but go back in time, 24 hours, <laughs> and get in line right now. <laughs> yeah, right now. If, but, if we were live streaming, we would be yelling at you. For not being in line, unless you are in line and live streaming us, in which case, you're the best kind of people. Exactly. <laughs> but we're not live streaming, so you suck. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Meh. I don't know Wait, what's going on. Go anymore. see it. I'm going to see it again at least twice. Oh, at least. So, I mean, it's go see it. It's good. Definitely worth go it. Go see it. All of the nerd boners. Is it better and than Tuna Salad? Yes. Yeah. Is it better than... Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> and as far as a rating goes, I definitely uh, give it a 19.9, <laughs> just for the simple fact of the X-Men, thing. the X-Men mutant thing. It pisses me off, but, you know, other than that, it's phenomenal. That's almost a 20, that's really good. Yeah, It's, I, it's still a critical hit. It's, <laughs> yeah, I mean... It's in the threat range. It's in the threat range. <laughs> I mean, it was it was great. It had all of your great f- favorite characters from the Marvel universe and everything like that. Um, you know, I just the vision is dope. So good. Ah, hey, everybody knows he's in it too. That's right. not a spoiler. Nope. Spoiler, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a lame? <laughs> how, oh, yeah, it's really right, good. Moving on. How dare yeah. you not know every single thing about this movie before it comes out? Uh, He's on the damn poster! Oh. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. Anyways. Right, next. Uh, yeah, let's, let's talk... Let's talk about the Batman. horrible. Oh yeah, let's talk Bat about other joke comic of movies. A Joker. <laughs> oh man, good joke, you fit right in. Riddle me this, roll to pose listeners. How do you feel about Jetto? Wait, wait. Jared, Jared Leto. Leto. No. Jared, Jared Leto. Jetto Leto. Jetto Leto. Jay Leto. <laughs> 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 How do you feel about Jay Leto being Jet the Joker? Set, Jet Set Leto future. <laughs> No, like, I like Jared Leto a lot. Me too. He's I was very excited for him to be the Joker. Definitely, and I I'm, thought he was going to make a perfect Joker. I kind of feel uh, like maybe they released that just to fuck with us. May- maybe? I'm hoping. I'm like hoping like, one, like of those, one of those, like, haha, yeah, Joker like, got you. Yeah, you're getting excited about the Joker. That sounds like something the That's Joker would do. That's what I was do. thinking. Yeah. I was thinking, like, maybe they're just fucking with us. I don't know. I, I don't know. 
Either either way, I mean, he's... That was a terrible picture. <sighs> it was really yeah. bad. It was really a big letdown. Joker down. shouldn't have a girl. Well, Marilyn Manson confirmed as Joker. <laughs> I'd take that. At least yeah. Marilyn Manson would like not dress like that. <laughs> I don't know. He's dressed some pretty weird ways. Uh, but it's just I don't mind the tattoos. Let's bring it up. I want to see it again. I don't mind the tattoos. I never want to see it again. I, I don't like the grill. I don't like the grill either. No, the I do not like the grill at all. Um, I'm cool with the hair. I, I wish it was a little longer. But in general, I, think I do wish short. it was a little longer. Yeah. I definitely do. I mean, I mean, is this is this Joker going to be like? Can he be? Is he going to be edgier than the Heath Ledger Batman or the Heath Ledger Joker? Exactly. Or, because Heath Ledger I, Joker was so well, amazing. It's, you got yeah. you got to remember it's it's Suicide Squad Joker. Exactly, and I get that. Yeah, I think my biggest issue is just the grill and the tattoos. Uh, yeah, I I don't I don't mind the tattoos as much because unless he's walking around without a fucking shirt on, you're not gonna fucking see him. Are you, uh, are the you damaged using across the, or something? Like the damage across the forehead. That damage that's, a, that's little, a little much. A little heavy handed. I, I I agree with you. Yeah, if you want a good idea of what they were going for with that Joker, watch the YouTube cartoon by Film Cow about the Joker getting that's his it. tattoos. It's the most hilarious thing you will see. <laughs> What's just, it called? It's by a YouTuber named Film Cow. The one Michael Jackson glove. <laughs> the I purple glove. The, no, uh, I think that it's really bad. I really think that it's really bad, but that's one picture. Oh, that that no eyebrows. Good. That yeah, pisses me off beyond... Blonde eyebrows. Uh, no, no eyebrows. He shaved his fucking eyebrows for this. Uh, wow. No, no but they're I mean, bleached out. It's just one picture, though. Yeah, exactly. It could yeah. be really, it could be really phenomenal. I mean, it's just the, yeah, it's that's... just the the response. Like everybody is saying, like, ah, oh, boo. It's just, it's just like people saying, you know, oh, Ben Affleck's gonna be a terrible Batman. Yeah, that's the thing that we should make like clear is that we're not talking about Jared Leto's acting ability because I got into an argument with some friends about that, and they're yeah. like, don't judge it until you see it. I'm not talking about Jared Leto's acting ability. I'm talking about the way he looks, and he looks like an eyesore. It's he true. looks like a juggalo. <laughs> and that's what pisses me off. Because I'm like... Yeah, I'm not okay I, with that. Sorry, juggalo that, listeners. I'm I, not. Hate that, I hate that juggalos are better like... Juggalo they're, so into, yeah, they're so into the clown that they kind of overtake the Joker. And I fucking love but the see, Joker. But see, the Joker... To me, juggalos are a little darker than the Joker. The Joker is very bright. He's hilarious. Like, he's and he's psycho. hilarious. And he's an actual psycho. <laughs> yeah. Not some fucking loner kid that everybody pushed around school and thought, hey, I'm going to freak people out by carrying a machete and <laughs> wearing makeup around. Hatchet, sir. It's a hatchet. What a, <laughs> welcome to the Roll 2 Green White Event kids politics. White kids doing things. <laughs> White kids doing things. I just things. mean, I want, uh, yeah, it's really just... It's the tattoos and the shaved eyebrows. If you think about it, the Joker is doing his job. That one picture pissed people off so much. That yeah. The Joker is already inspiring chaos in the masses. <laughs> That's true. Boom. Mind yeah. blown. Mind blown, everybody. We're probably all getting trolled really uh, hard. See, so. I mean, it's, Jared obviously... Jared Leto's going to come out in a suit. Let's, let's face just like, it. Just kidding. Let, let's face it. <laughs> this would be a great way to make sure that this is what the fans want. Yeah. To release a photo way before it's time for the movie to like start filming, yeah. and just be like, let's release this leaked photo of uh, Jared Leto as the Joker, and then everybody's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, okay, redo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I would do that. Like, like it's it's a smart move on their part because let's face it, DC is pretty far behind when it comes to the race for Marvel or for. Uh, comic book movies. As long as they don't throw a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in-joke in the film. Like, oh, they're not aliens. That's stupid. <laughs> the Joker doesn't have tattoos. That's dumb. <laughs> Can you imagine the Joker in tattoos? <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah, let's get him a grill, too. <laughs> it's going to be really weird to see the Joker after he blunder. No. no, it's not no, going to be weird at all. The best Joker was Jim Carrey as the Riddler. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Instead, <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> you want to know how I got this grill? <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, exhibit cameo, pip my joker. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gosh. yeah, I, I, I'm sure that that's not final. There's no freaking way. Yeah. I'm not educated about these things, though. Is the Joker going to be in the Batman vs. Superman movie? No. Okay. Uh, it's going to be. There is a rumor going. Well, it's not a rumor. They caught Ben Affleck on the set of Suicide Squad today, but in like he was hiding. Like they didn't incognito. Want, yeah, yeah, he was trying to be incognito about on it, the and set they caught him. Yeah, there's of a theory Suicide Squad. that it might they might put Joker in a flashback in maybe Suicide Squad or the Batman Superman movie. Yeah, where they run into uh, But that's just a theory in the rumor mill. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so far away from all of these movies coming out that it's just like, it's all speculation at this point. I mean, is is Aquaman going to be good? It looks like it's going to be good. Well, yeah, all right, <laughs> listeners, Jesse brought up Aquaman. If you have an alcoholic beverage within 30 feet of you, take a drink. Well, I mean, he's got to be. I mean, they casted Common. Well, rumor is they casted Common, Common mm-hmm. and he's going to play Black Manta. So, I mean... I'm okay with it. So am I. So okay with it. I like Common as an actor and a, and a musician. Yep. So, uh, I mean... If they can make Aquaman a cool comic book character... They've done their job. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> definitely BA. I'm not even going to be mad at right. you're, you're welcome on the podcast, man. <laughs> <laughs> You've done some shit talking about Aquaman. You're one of us. Right. <laughs> you're one of them. One of us. Okay. <laughs> Aquaman's a badass. I guess we should Anyways. talk about the other person in the spectrum. So, Batman. Yeah, man. I, I, I dig it. Now, the Batman photo that they released... With him in the suit, you get actually full it's, on it's shot on It's the gray on black. I'm Which like, is I dope. Like it. I'm like, so. The Dark Knight Returns Batman mm-hmm. is definitely looking a lot better than his arch nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we'll, it looks yeah. pretty badass. I, I like suit. it a lot. I don't know. Henry Cavill, that man has put on some masks from the last movie. Like, he looks beefy. I'm just like, look at Superman looking all slow and not like some skinny little nerd. Yeah. Does, does he bleed? Does he? Does he bleed? We all know he, Batman's he, parents did. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's okay. Because uh, his whole planet bled. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Krypton. It's begun. <laughs> Batman versus Superman, go. Uh, I, I, I'm really excited for, like, as much... As people are always hyped about Marvel. Marvel's already fucking proved themselves. Yeah. I think I, they've, been, they've proved themselves the last fucking yeah. so many like, years. I, 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 yeah. But I think DC yeah. is up and coming. I think DC is going to do some fantastic I think they're going to do some great work. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they have they have the great actors backing everything. I mean, Ben Affleck, no matter if you think he's going to be a good Batman or whatever, he's a good actor. He's a fantastic actor, and they couldn't have asked for somebody with more finesse than Ben Affleck. And he's he's a nerd. Like yeah. just yeah. to he's top friends it off. with Matt Smith for Christ's sake. <laughs> here's a question. Matt Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Smith. Smith. I'm sorry. Hey, here's and a Kevin Smith is a huge Batman fan, so he has a question. Here's a question. He might be a good Batman. Do you think he'll be a good Bruce Wayne? Because you got to kind of distinguish, distinguish uh, those roles. I think he will do good as a, uh, what's the uh, writer? Um, he did 300 and... Uh, <laughs> Frank Miller? Frank, Frank Miller. Miller. I think yeah. he does, I think he'll be a great Frank Miller I Batman. mean, if you've seen, I mean, if you watch the video when he's looking at the bat suit, he definitely looks like Batman is run down. Yeah, he's, he's fed, fed up, up. And he's like, you know, here's this asshole... From another planet, who's come to Arkham and is about to fuck shit up for no reason. <laughs> I've been saving these for assholes Gotham. for so long. <laughs> now there's a fucking superhero that they're this calling is... their god. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. everybody thinks he's some kind of god. Yeah. Fuck that, a dude! I've been working god. on this city for <laughs> years. Like I'm going gray. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know what, Batman? Maybe if you actually killed some of your nemesis, it wouldn't still be such a shameful one. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what Red Hood was trying to prove. Yep. Yeah. Just saying. 
I think he'd make a better. Um, you mean Red Bruce Skull? Wayne. Red no, Red Hood. Oh, Red Hood. I Red think he'll be a good Bruce Wayne. I don't know about <laughs> Batman. Batman. That's how I feel. Yeah. Yeah, because I think he has the charm to be Bruce Wayne, and, like a millionaire. He's very, he's charming. He's a charming guy. Yeah, he can I be think charming, he'll be a but great I think Bruce he... Wayne, but I can't picture him trying to be Batman yet. Ben Batfleck. <laughs> I, I seriously think that he's he would be better as a darker version of Batman. Yeah. And I love the voice modulator that they used. Yeah, I like it. Instead of the growling. I mean, where is I'm not... I still love you, Christian Bale. <laughs> You're the only one. Yeah. Everybody I mean, that's worked with the man hates him. Yeah, and I mean, don't get me wrong, those Batman movies were great. They, were they okay. are. But yeah. I like the voice modulator deal. You know, it, I just, I'm so excited. The armor that he's wearing to deal with Superman is just like. Yeah, the suit buster armor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, Pretty it's much. so exciting. Like, it, that's just proof to me that, like, People who write comic books are actually, like, listening to the fans, like, yeah, we want a fucking Batman versus Superman movie. Like, when are you going to get on that? They're just like, yeah, okay. What, next, it's going to be, like, Hulk World and, like... Oh, Planet Hulk. Planet oh, Hulk, Hulk. Yeah, oh, God. God. We were talking they're about gonna that. Be, yeah, they're going to start doing so much that they have so much material to work with. I think they're going to see good comic book movies for the rest of our lives. Can you imagine if they finally come out with a Harley Quinn? <laughs> Well, Har- Harley Quinn's going to be in Suicide Squad. Exactly. Oh. But we oh, haven't yeah, seen so. too much information about um, her. Who it is. They're all about, well, we She's know who She's only going to be wearing three costumes. Halle Berry. Only three? Mm-hmm. <laughs> one of them is one of yes. one of them's her uh, regular Harley Quinn. Another one's going to be her in a ball gown. And the other one is going to be just her in regular uh, As a work psychologist? Okay. Yeah. As a... Basically, yeah. Okay. But yeah, but like you haven't seen too much. Like they just talked about Will Smith playing Deadshot today on set. Um, You haven't heard too much about Harley Quinn, and you haven't really heard too much about. uh, Totally okay with who's playing Harley Quinn, by the way. Yeah, who is it? I have not heard this. Fine as hell. Rashida Jones. No. Who is it? I'm just naming Scarlett Johansson. (laughs) 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 All the time. Who is it? I really want to know. She's Australian. Kevin Bacon. (laughs) <laughs> She's an Australian actress. As Harley Quinn. She was just Kevin Bacon in the. Uh, best Harley. She was just. In, <laughs> she was in the movie with um, uh, fucking. I don't know. The Fresh Prince. We had the internet. We just talked about him. Will Smith. Oh yeah. He was just in. Charlie's the there. No, he was just. In, she was. She looks a little like her. Uh, she was in uh, the movie where they were. Uh, Is it Margaret? Yeah, Margaret. No, Margaret Robbie. Robbie. Yeah, yeah Margaret Robbie. Robbie. Click on her. She's hot. So, Margo, you know. guys. It's, it's, it's Margo. Margo. <laughs> English, motherfuckers. Do oh, you speak it? that's the girl from... Um, Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. No, not only that, but uh, the one with... Uh, where he has to do the karma thing. Oh, uh, yes, man. No, no, no. no. Um, uh, no was, oh, my, my name is Earl. Earl. That's totally her. No, that's not her. Yeah. She looks exactly like her. That's not her? No. Uh, You're I'm thinking, thinking like about... Uh, Jamie King. Jamie, oh, I am thinking uh, Jamie King. Presley. Presley? Yeah, it's Jamie Presley. It's wow, Jamie Presley. she's really pretty. She's extremely pretty. Exactly. Cool. Winning. Harley Quinn. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah. I approve. <laughs> yes, All right, she's gonna so. be great. Margot Robbie is her name, and she's a great actress. I love you all, but a half an hour about comics is a lot. Okay. And our fans are screaming for... Actually, no, our fans don't really scream. They kind of like mutter. I was going to say, like our one fan is sitting right here with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. In case you guys are wondering, Dan is our number one fan. Woo! He's our only fan. <laughs> <laughs> our only fan. We're going to give you. I'm going to give you the. First, we're going to give you the Disney contest. flick later. <laughs> we're going to give you the post it notes. Let's <laughs> say heart. Pink, green, or yellow. <laughs> I heart you. <laughs> what do we have in the role to pose? Studio. All right. Uh, what else? It's gonna be May. It's, it's gonna, gonna be May. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is May. Yeah, tomorrow is May. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Let's go into video anime? games. Anime. Anime. Let's do anime. Anime or video games? Talk about anime. Go. Let's anime. start with both. How Why about not? Criminal Girls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go there. We could have uh, used that as a segue I between just, either one. I just did. We're doing both. <laughs> We're talking about criminally insane people not in the comic book world. <laughs> <laughs> and anime and video games. I like where you're going with this. <laughs> okay, alright. Let's go. 
What is uh, Criminal It's Cult? hilarious. I have been playing, well, I actually just finished it. It's a PlayStation Vita game. It's a Japanese import. <laughs> and basically... So, Japan. Yeah, it's Japan. It's got Japan written all over it. <laughs> Desu? Yeah, Des- Desu, Desu. Desu, Desu. <laughs> Des? <laughs> Des? <laughs> And the like, the basic general premise of it is you're this guy whose consciousness or something is brought up into hell, and your job is to reform these seven girls who are your party members. And of course, this is Japan, so about half the girls are about high school age, and <laughs> the artwork is... Really big boobs. Risky. Yeah. <laughs> risky. 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 <laughs> risky, if you will, if you're <laughs> French. <laughs> and basically your job is to motivate these girls and get them to overcome the reason why they're in hell and to help them escape hell. That's awesome. And that sounds good on paper, but <laughs> again, this is a Japanese game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So the way you teach your party members how to learn new moves is to motivate them in mini <coughs> games in which you do things like tickle them, <laughs> spank them, drip crap on them. Drip crap? <laughs> well, not, not literal crap. They don't, they don't specify it's, the liquid it's, that's dripped. It's not, it's not that Japanese. <laughs> but the okay. thing that makes this worse is that worse. <laughs> is that this is a PlayStation Vita game and if you don't have a Vita you should know that the Vita has touch screen capabilities <laughs> on the front and the back the front and the back <laughs> so you've got your mini games to teach these girls how to learn new moves using your touch screen so this and is not a game you want to play in public. On, on the bus <laughs> or anything like that. It's cause cause let's face it, while you're playing these mini games, you're jacking off your fucking Vita. You're just going at it. <laughs> so so what you're telling me is I am playing a game <laughs> where I get to tap that ass and the girl levels up. Yes. yes. <laughs> Win it! <laughs> Found we... D's calling. We need a PlayStation Vita. Win it! <laughs> I'm buying one next week. <laughs> Dan had to play like a little bit before we started and just like, how the fuck do I do this? It's a touch screen, but the back is a touch screen too. Like, what the fuck? Like, uh, alright, tickle on this side and then tickle on this side when it's this car. It's just like, I feel like I'm trying to finger from the both both sides and it's like this is so Japanese I feel so dirty it's so, like, so is it like two in the pink one in the stink exactly yeah, you gotta tickle it from behind and in the front it's just wow. like wow. basically you're going to have to violate your Vita to play this game <laughs> <laughs> to say it nicely you take yeah. your Vita's V card you're gonna avoid its warranty <laughs> innuendo he took my line <laughs> Sounds fun though. Like, all right. So, did you? Besides, hold on. My next question is: Did you wipe it off before you played it? Oh, oh and I'm biting my nails. <laughs> <laughs> Your tongue's about to be uh, pregnant. Oh. Oh. Like, <laughs> Sorry, Scruffy. <laughs> <laughs> I got Dan in my mouth. <laughs> How does it taste? Well, like that's a awesome. Special guest have, star. <laughs> have you beat the game? Yes, I have platinumed it, unfortunately. <laughs> it is a fun game, but... I applaud you, sir. <laughs> you platinumed it. Yeah. That's all you have to say. It is a fun game, and yeah, like, it's a great JRPG, just... If you're going to level up your girls, do not play that game in public. <laughs> How many bottles of dragons did you go through? Oh, I've lost count. <laughs> <laughs> Something serious. That's the greatest yeah. line I've ever heard. If you're going to level up your girls, do you play a lot of do so in public? <laughs> yeah, I play a lot. Like I've gotten a lot really into the Shin Megami Tensei games. I've they're good. Yeah, I absolutely love the Persona series. So you are the I main character that, yeah. from the world God only knows. Basically. Yes. <laughs> I love that anime so much. Me too, I miss it. I'm going to start calling you the Conqueror at work, and people are not going to know what I'm talking about. There goes the guy, that platinum. 
So speaking of uh, leveling up your encounter. girls, I've been watching Yamada's First Time. Oh dear. Also called uh, Bigata Roll. HK. Something Bigata like HK, yeah. yeah. BHK, I think. Yeah. I've seen um, that anime. It's it's, yeah. it's a silly. <laughs> it's a Alex silly woke anime. up to the part where she has a mirror on her vagina, and she's like, <laughs> "Is it supposed to look like that? Will he like it?" So it's basically what every woman goes through when they are wondering what that's, to do with that that's, thing. That's just <laughs> Japan's way of doing things. Just like. <laughs> Yeah, girls do that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I ever pointed a mirror at my taint. I was, I was appalled. appalled. Yeah. <laughs> Scared? <laughs> That's what the fleshy fun bridge, fun bridge looks like. <laughs> Self -discovery. I assure you, it's nothing like a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> They're very different parts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome this to is the not this is not anatomy. The role, I was about to say, the role to anatomy podcast. Uh, today we um, talk about the Labia Majora and Minora. Continue. Oh, no. No, I was just saying, um, it's, it's just a really hilarious show. I started it in, in um, Japanese, but then I was busy doing stuff, so I couldn't read. So I started it back in English, and it's really not too bad, because the jokes... They you know, carry over. Yeah, they carry over, and they're probably a little, like, probably more funny in English, because it's kind of a dumb, dumb blonde, like, right. just being an idiot. And she wants, basically the story is about how, she, how much she wants to become a slut, and she's a virgin, so right. she finds, and in Japan they call them cherry pickers, the guys that are virgin. That sounds terrible. That they've never been cherry picked, basically. Thanks, Japan. Yeah. Obama loves your anime and manga. <laughs> <laughs> so she finds a, a cherry a cherry picker, and he's never had sex, and they're just super awkward, and she's trying to bang him so hard, and he doesn't understand, <laughs> and he's trying to be romantic, and that's the She about just it. wants his cherry. She just wants it. She <laughs> wants to get it over with so she can slut around for the rest of high school. Wasn't it like... Wow. Uh, a hundred guys was is it her 100? goal. Yeah, a yeah. hundred guys. Uh, she, so yeah, it's about a virgin who has no idea... <laughs> you don't know. If any of you listeners are wondering, that is what Japan is actually like all the yeah. time. STDs Move do not Japan. exist in Japan. <laughs> Desi, Desi. Desi. They Desi. exist, they just There's ignore even, them. There's an episode where she's like, oh, you didn't wear any underwear? That's genius. And she's like, I'm not going to wear any underwear to school. And just, yeah, like, the but... wind catches it, and he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, high school is a fun place in Japan. Right? Oh, magical absolutely. girls and... <laughs> and then, magical girls. And then tentacles come out of the lockers. <laughs> <laughs> After you eat a piece of sushi. Hell yeah. <laughs> fucking Covered in honey. <laughs> and hot food sauce. And peanut butter. I fucking love Food Wars. It's the greatest anime this season. We have to watch Food Wars. Disagree. It's so but good. It is. It is decent. <laughs> Just because it's All not right. my flavor. What That's else we got? One. What else we got as far as that? How about we, we level? How about we level up our guys now and talk about that super new DBZ coming out? Yeah. <laughs> So I ever heard. Dude, yeah, can we hire this guy <laughs> to write our segues? <laughs> Unpaid intern. <laughs> DBZ. Yeah, DBZ. Dragon Ball Z, man. Yeah, is it gonna come, come out with a new series called Dragon Ball Z Super or Dragon Ball Super? I think it's Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, it's Dragon Ball Super, which Dragon is basically Super. just going to follow up on you know the Super Saiyan God modes and basically what the new movies have been doing, probably yeah. ignoring GT. So is it okay. so is it gonna be like the in between GT? Yeah. Or is it writing the wrongs of GT or Probably a little bit of both. Yeah, I don't think they've specified yet, but it seems to be like it's gonna either be between Z and GT or they're going to ignore GT and this will be the new continuity. It's one of those things where like Akira Toriyama and uh the company that produces the show, uh what is it? Uh, Akira Toriyama and Funimation, Funimation and one other group. I There's another remember. studio that's involved. yeah, another big studio. Gonzo, I think maybe. Uh, that something, something like that. Uh, but anyways, they basically just said, "Hey, we're working on a new series. Get ready for it." And that's yeah. pretty much all we know. Oh my god, 
Yeah. It's happening in Japan, too. Yeah. They're, they're running out of ideas. They're remaking <laughs> They have to reboot everything. <laughs> well, I mean, they've been doing that for years with uh, yeah. Gundam anyway, so... Uh, Gundam, um, Evangelion got a new one. Power Rangers. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, <laughs> Brotherhood, Helsing Ultimate. Yeah. They've just been redoing all the of their animes. The one that we were watching. <laughs> Ghost but the these show. are a lot of old animes that they're trying to bring into Ghost the new the world, show, you know? Back. I yeah. think uh, yeah. Sailor Moon Crystal. Yeah, Sailor, Sailor Moon. Moon Crystal, yeah. It's so good. Uh, it's I've, so also, good. I've also heard there's a new <laughs> Digimon and a new Tenchi in the works. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I watched, saw Digimon. We watched on the there. first episode of. Or, you were asleep. I watched the first episode of the new Digimon and I was just like. No, <laughs> this is different. I hate it. This is different, and I hate it because I'm an old man. This is not the Digimon I remember. <laughs> These are not the champions. Cartoons back in the day, dude. Back in my you know day. they have all of Digimon on Netflix, right? Yeah, they like do. the original series. I know, but I have so little time. To and do I have, anything. I still have the Digimon Digimon movie. So you can watch the in between. Oh my god! You know what I missed? The PlayStation One Did, game for Digimon. 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 Video games. Video, video games. games. Video we got monsters. Videos are the champions. Uh, let's, let's stay here in Japan uh, and talk about the heartbreak that is Silent Hills. Yeah, dude. Is that He's a real so game? hired. <laughs> <laughs> Resume complete. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're Wait a second. What? Grow your beard out. I got this. <laughs> what? Bearded Fury? <laughs> Just replace him. You're the new Bearded Fury. <laughs> You've been upgraded. No, I bet you could stand in for him. 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 All right. <laughs> the mini Fury. <laughs> <laughs> but, but we have to be really bad at segues. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, it's just... I, it's it's our way. That's the way we do yeah, things. Yeah, your segues are really good. <laughs> if you can make your segues a little bit worse, then you, you can be on board. <laughs> well, if you're scared, I uh, mean, we could go to that hill that is silent. Oh wait, it no longer. No, there's exists. hills now. See that was <laughs> see that was really bad. Good. All right, you're on the right track. That was a really bad segue. You're terrible. on the right track. Thank you. <laughs> Almost too bad. I'm sad that Silent Hill is canceled because uh, I really. Oh, I have a question. Elfora. Does anybody have any details? And I kind of, I have details. I kind of call bullshit on that. Like, nope, there's no I have way details. they can cancel that. They have to. Why? Hideo? Because Hideo Kojima it can't work on it, and uh, Guillermo del to Guillermo del Toro will not work on it unless Hideo, Hideo Kojima is on working on it. The reason being is because Konami, the company that owns the right to do so lost Hideo Kojima. Hideo Kojima was uh, Metal Gear, okay. Metal Gear and Solid okay. and all he's that done. stuff. He's okay. done. And basically so they, he's done making video games? He's done making video games for Konami. Oh. His contract ran out. So it actually ran out in April, like mid-April. Oh, that's a bummer. He said he was going to stay on to make sure that uh, Grand Theft Auto, or Grand Theft Auto, Jesus Christ. GS5. Yeah, <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 5 was finished. It had a 5 in it, you were close. Yeah, yeah Metal Grand Auto. <laughs> to make sure Auto. that the game. <laughs> Metal Grand Auto. <laughs> 5. 5. <laughs> Starring Solid Bocelli. <laughs> so, anyways. But basically, he said, I'm going to stay on with the group, make sure that the game is finished. You guys don't have to pay me for that because I know my contract runs out. I just want to make sure my masterpiece is done. So they said, yeah, that's fine. Just, you know, do whatever you need to do. But, you know, you're not going <laughs> to sign the new contracts. You're done then. And he was just like, okay, well, what about our other project, Silent Hills? And they're just like, well, we got the concept and everything like that. We're just going to have to take over without you. So he's like, okay, then I want all of my concepts back. You can't use them. Does that mean Norman Reedus is not going to be... Yes. He's Aww. gone? Well, I mean, everybody's gone. Both of the directors uh, are gone. Uh, no more Walking Dead and because the, Hills. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, I mean, basically what it comes down to is if 
if Konami gets rid of Silent Hill as the, uh, like, the, if they get rid of them as the owners of Silent Hill and let Kona- or Hideo Kojima take over, then maybe there might be a chance. Like but the there, that's going to be years and years down the road. God. Uh, and I was looking forward to that it snake looked, cameo. It looked really cool. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean... Solid snake pops up in the side of a hill, just like, don't worry, guy. Infinite ammo. And then he <laughs> hides in this box and just... Shoots <laughs> and pops out with an M60 and just starts belting zombies down. <laughs> um, nah, it, it's, it's an extremely sad thing, but at the same time, you have to remember, Hideo Kojima is a brilliant, brilliant man, and he is going to make some beautiful video games without Konami does jumping he, on their back. Does he still retain the rights to Metal Gear? No. No. That's still Konami as well. But I mean, um, how old is that guy? Hideo Kojima's yeah. in his 50s. Yeah, I mean, he's still got plenty of years of making video games yeah, and he's just got to find the right company. And that's, and that's just the them. thing. He didn't want to be stuck inside the parameters of what Konami wanted them to do. So he said, I'm done. I'm going to make my own firm, and I'm going to make my own video games. He was going to do smaller scale stuff. Oh my god, but he's going to be so successful. Oh yeah, of course. I'm sure like Guillermo del Toro is like, I'm out. Oh wait, you're starting a company? Okay, I'm in. Let's yeah. make our own horror. Game. I, like, and then the guy from The <laughs> Walking Dead. Let's make people like the... actually have heart attacks. <laughs> I still got us. Norman Reedus on my speed dial. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even I mean, going to put that warning at the beginning I'll... of the game that says this is going to scare you. I want people to actually literally die They're because going to die. scary game. Playing this game. <laughs> but, see, the thing about it is, he wants to do smaller scale stuff. And the fact, like, the fact that he was ready to work with somebody as big as Guillermo del Toro on something so sinister and so evil. Oh my god. Uh, they have to amazing. work together, though. They, they have, have to. have to get back together. But, it's all speculation at this point. All we know is, Hideo Kojima is no longer a part of Konami. Which means, of course, Silent Hills is not going to be made. Let's just hope all the characters die in Metal Gear so that the Konami doesn't ruin Let's Metal Gear. Let's not hope that. Let's not hope that. I, I love I love Metal Gear a lot. Yeah, but without Kojima, it's, it <coughs> might be well, a little scary. Without, without Kojima, we get games like, uh, uh, what was the freaking video game, the hack and slash? Metal Gear Rising? Yeah, Hideo that, Kojima that, had nothing to do with that. Yeah, but that also wasn't Konami. That was Platinum Games. Oh, that's right. Yeah, You're that, right. That wasn't Konami. Mm. Well, maybe we'll get a. Mighty, I need to look into the research on this. We, maybe we'll get a mighty number no. nine spiritual successor type deal. Maybe and maybe they'll make I've, Metal Gear games that aren't called Metal Gear. Maybe that'd be pretty cool. I'd be fine with that. And we'll call him Viper instead of Snake. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That works. Cobra. <laughs> I, I, all I know is September's going to be awesome. Because that's when Metal Gear Solid Five comes out. Calm down, guys. It's like I just, summer just started today. No. <laughs> you can tell because it's no. hot as shit in here. I bought you guys popsicles. It's true. And beer. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and beer, lots of beer. Beer's good. Shout out to Grim Brothers Brewhouse. Yeah, dude. We need to go to Loveland and get this shit on tap. Yeah, dude. Little Red Cat. If you guys want something to drink, drink it. Yeah, Little Red Cap is great. If you live up in Loveland or in Denver, apparently they're really big up there. Uh, if you live in Colorado Springs, on the other hand, there's only one place in town that sells it. So, good luck finding it, because I'm not telling you. And anyway, it's Denver. What's coming up? Comic-Con! Denver Easy. Comic-Con. So Comic Con is just around the corner. <laughs> Alex was just telling me he has to pee because you know Last he's, time he's a ruiner. I have the bladder of a four year old. Yeah, he sure does. We Little bring girl. the wine in here. It's in the fridge. Thanks. Yes. Um, I, <laughs> anyway, anything for your mother. Anything. <laughs> anyway, so fuck it, we'll do it live. Um. <laughs> uh, so what were we gonna say well, about Comic Con? Yeah, Comic Con, man. Fucking A, I'm so excited. It's coming soon. And We're going to be walking around. We have business cards to hand yeah. out and shit. Which our business cards look dope yeah. as hell. They look good. They have a backside, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love you can the front and the yes, back when you get it. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> jack jack off the card. It doesn't do anything <laughs> for you, but hey. I mean, you, you might, might look like a crazy person, but... <laughs> 
Uh, but it's it's really it's it's awesome. We're really excited to go. Um, we made some purchases for the thing. Yeah. We're gonna be going around with a camera and bothering people. Who so. knows? For those of you who are new subscribers, I have a card. You know, if you can show me a picture of a card from Denver Comic Con, it might get you in for a prize. Yeah, cool. yeah. We'll so, do stuff for like you. Page. And we'll keep everybody updated on all that cut full cool fun stuff. So Yeah. Yeah, you dude, Comic Con because of cool and fun. Yeah. Yeah. We tried to mash them together and it sounded dirty. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we like it though. We like it dirty. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. <laughs> you got the bomb on me. <laughs> Baby. Anyways, Anyways, so Comic Con's gonna be great. We're super excited for it. Um, Is anyone cosplay? dressing up? I am. What are you doing? I am going as Sweet Tooth from the YouTube <gasps> musical. Uh, not not from Twisted Metal. I thought you were saying Twisted Metal. No, I was like, that's cool. Twisted Metal. There is a uh, there's a group called Team Star Kid on YouTube. They do hilarious low budget musicals, <laughs> and they've got one called Holy Musical Batman, and oh, I'm going man. to be cosplaying the main villain from that. So nice. look for a guy with blue hair and a baby pink suit. Nice. nice. <laughs> Very that cool. sounds pimp. That sounds awesome. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, I'm Dan jealous. is actually fucking like king of cosplay. Like he's done some cool shit. Like uh, Marshall Lee was the last thing you did, right? Yeah, I did Marshall Lee at Wasabi. Nice. Or otherwise known as, you know, pull the fire alarm con. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Freaking Wasabi. I think we might do uh, Krieger and his anime fucking holocaust. Krieger son! Krieger son! <laughs> All I okay. need is a lab coat and a bunch of creepy things to say. I'm <laughs> so ready. FYI, I have pink hair right now. So yeah. I figure I can do really a lot of anime characters. Desu? Desu? Fully <laughs> <laughs> Cooly Reboot starring Seth Nibara. <laughs> just hit people with a bass. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> You should probably walk around with a bass guitar all the time, and then goggles on your forehead. And then moped out. That's all you need. I want one of those mopeds so bad. Actually ride a moped through the con. Be as punk rock as the main character. He already is. A lot of fun to ride, but don't tell anybody. That's the joke, right? (laughs) I'm ugly, I get it. Fun to ride, but you don't want your friends to see. (laughs) The homeless guy at the liquor store said I look like Harry Potter, I get it. (laughs) Gosh. Anyways. boppity boop (laughs) <laughs> Anyways, Comic Con's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be dressed up as a guy taking pictures creepily of girls in super awesome cosplay. So a Japanese guy. Oh, yeah. Wait. Okay. Uh, oh shit. What's the game? Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> a, bit of, a bit of a pause. He you just know the level. Off. You know the level where there's the guy with the camera who is fucking always just jumping up and taking pictures. Yeah. Like, what's that from? That's from. Uh, the zombie game inside of the mall. Dead Rising. Died, Dead Rising. Yeah, B. Frank West? Is that his name? Something like that. Frank West? I'd have to get a gray suit. Yeah, be that guy. Okay. Just have a but shopping cart. I have cart. a beard. Oh. Time to shave. Yeah, shave. No, not happening. It's summer. So? All right, so... <laughs> shed shed uh, your winter coat. <laughs> no. All right, listener contest. Find a... Person with a beard who takes pictures with a camera is a he, thing He'll that... most likely have a Kigurumi on. Probably. <laughs> you could mistake him as Frank West or a Japanese businessman. I might, I might, put, <laughs> I might put some beard beads in and just be a fucking... Uh, Pirate. <laughs> no, be a dwarf with yeah! a camera. Yeah! <laughs> I'll help you braid it. Please. <laughs> Anyways. Well, I'll cosplay as a ram. <laughs> you can ride me around Comic Con and I'll fucking headbutt everybody. Why are you trying to get people to ride you a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie brought up the idea. I'm either going to be a moped or a ram. I think rams are way cooler. <laughs> way cooler. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the moped from Fooly Cooly goes like 150 miles an hour. That's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> it's from space. Yeah, it is. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Anyways, six minutes left. What do we got to talk about? Um, I just want to say that I started The Last of Us. That's so And I good. texted Jesse five minutes in, and I was like, great, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying already. Crying I was, already. I was just like, ah. He's like, I know, I know. <laughs> 20 out of 20, best game, best game ever. Oh, dude, it was so <laughs> good. Well, I've only started it, and... um. 
I give my, I give it a strong. My friend just died. Yeah. Uh, what's her face? Jean? Yeah. No. Uh, fuck. What's her name? Teresa. Supporting character one. Yeah, yeah. She, she died after you know my daughter her died. Hero like though. I mean, my she hot dog. she was yeah. bitten, right? She got bitten, and then she's she was like, just like, okay, well, "Well, I'll just hold off these soldiers while you get away from everything." So. Yeah, and you know what? Is her name Ellen Page? Ellen that, Page. Yeah. yeah is that, that her name? She's really a cool character. No, you're no. talking. <laughs> Sorry, I is thought you were talking name? about something yeah. else. Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, who looks like Ellen Page. She started off looking like Ellen Page, and that was a huge thing. No, you're thinking of that terrible game, what was it, Remember uh, Me? No. Not Wait, remember. who am I thinking of then? No, you're thinking about Ellie is her name. Ellie, well, anyway, Ellie's cool. <laughs> yeah, Ellie's great. She's one of the, probably one of the best characters She's in a video really, game. Really Wait, really yeah. We didn't start this off right. Welcome to the Way Too Late Review. Yes. <laughs> anyway, the graphics are freaking amazing. I'm yeah, playing you're playing on the, the PS4, PS4 version, right? And it is amazing. Yeah. And I think it's the even remastered one. Yeah, it's remastered. So, oh man. It's I just look around gorgeous. at the scenery and then PlayStation I hear clicking and break out. Uh, Ellie and Clementine confirmed as best child characters. Yeah, oh. by far. <laughs> Yeah, um, when's the Last of Us and Walking Dead crossover happening? Never. Oh. <laughs> it should. It totally should. It's, it's the a same completely, world. It's, no, it's completely different. No. It's the same world. Spores. Too. Okay, spores. Get the Dragon Balls. We'll revive everybody. <laughs> we'll revive Lee with the Dragon Balls. We'll cross them over. It's okay. <laughs> We'll reboot The Last of Us. We know it just came out. <laughs> the hey, reboot, who, remastered reboot. Who is the guy supposed to be? Two because point. that guy looks really familiar. Frank West. Did he they should, base him off of somebody? No. He, Frank West. He should sound familiar, though. Yeah, I it's think very it's Troy familiar. Baker. Troy Baker is the, uh, the, the guy that does the voice acting for it. He also did uh, voice acting for... Um, Ah, shit. Troy Baker. He played uh, Booker. He played an anime, Booker. You've probably heard of him. He played Booker in uh, the new Bioshock Infinite game. Yeah, mm-hmm. Bioshock Infinite. He played Booker in that. Oh, that's what he sounds like. Yeah. He, uh, and the character model looks uh, remarkably similar as well. Yeah. yeah Troy <laughs> Baker is everywhere. He's if you've so played good. a video game or watched an anime or a cartoon, you've probably heard Troy, Troy Baker. Yeah, Troy Baker. So good. I want to play it now. It's so. It's a But great I have game. to work tomorrow, and the, the first night I played it, I couldn't sleep, and I didn't realize <laughs> what it was from. I went to bed after playing that game for five hours, whatever, and then um, we watched Supernatural. So I just watched scary shit all night. Yep. And went to bed, and Alex was just like. In my face, and I was just like, <gasps> like hearing clicking noises. This is, yeah, this is how out. I snort. <laughs> uh, anyway, and then good I spit game. Spores I can't wait. Face. I can't wait to play it. Call me when you finish it. I will. Or you could just come over and watch me play it. Yeah, definitely. I'm fine with that. So, I decided I'm going to reward myself for finishing this semester out strong with straight A's by getting Bloodborne. It's way too late review. It came out a month ago, but I'm going to fucking get it. PlayStation 4, I have to fucking play that game. I'm sure no one played it. I haven't. Because it's done by one of the hardest game makers. Oh, no, no. It's been, it's been beaten already. <laughs> it's been beaten already. Yeah. I know, but it could have been the first. I fucking... the, the way they describe it is fucking... It's Dark Souls, except for in a Lovecraft fucking world. It's, uh... it's Dark Souls 1. The first Dark Souls. Demon Souls. No, no, no. Dark Souls, the first Dark Souls game. Okay. Yeah. So it's basically those types of uh, mechanics and things like How that. How hard it is! I know. I'm not even On fucking scared. <laughs> I, I know you're not. I'm just letting you know. You're <laughs> you thought Dark Souls was bad. Prepare your anus. My anus is so fucking ready. I'm ready to get raped so hard. Like I just want to fucking. But no, like I, everything I've read is just. It, everybody says like. You know, straight out of the world of H.P. Lovecraft, like Lovecrafty, and just like, oh my god, it's my two favorite things. Dark Souls and H.P. Lovecraft. And Ooh. fucking steampunk. Like, I gotta fucking play this game. You love like, it so much, why don't you marry it? <laughs> if it was legal to marry a video game, you know, it I might actually, be if probably, you go to Japan. You you better, better, I read an you, article you better, where somebody... You better watch what you're saying right I now. read an article of somebody in Japan Stephanie's marrying right a 3DS character. Fact. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, that did happen. That happened. <laughs> so fly to Japan with your PS4, marry your Bloodborne character. I'm sorry, Ibby. 
<laughs> it's all right. I understand. It's she gonna, already knew it was never happening. It's going to end in... Oh, wow. Kidding. Kidding. Dag, yo, calm down. Who <laughs> that when it feels today? <laughs> Poor I'm Alex. Kidding. That was funny. I'd marry you. <laughs> I'll be your number two. All right, so let's end this like we end one out of four podcasts where somebody says it's something offensive and Ibby is mad at me. So <laughs> <laughs> Bring up old shit. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for listening to the Roll to Pose podcast, and thanks, Dan, for coming by. Yay. We really appreciate it. We can't yeah, wait Dan, to thanks. have you in again. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Um, did, we do, did we do a podcast two weeks in a row? Like, no. just like one? No. No, no we, we, missed, we, we missed last week. People had anniversaries. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Uh, happy anniversary, baby. Oh, <laughs> Me and Navy have been together for four years. It's really dramatic. <laughs> we did some really cute, cute shit, and we went cute. to... Uh, Cute. Went to painting with a twist. We uh, went and got sushi together. We celebrated. How oh my god. god! Do you know what I got her for fucking our anniversary? Anal beads. I mean, close. <laughs> very close. Uh, not very close. That's what I <laughs> last, it was the mean. last podcast we were talking about <laughs> Squid Girl, right? Right. Yeah. You oh guys gosh. haven't seen the squid. No. All right, so we're gonna post a picture of this adorable stuffed animal squid that I got Stephanie for her anniversary, and it's it has been used inappropriately. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Hey, it's already a, a minute past the hour mark. Just the Disney so. flick. <laughs> Just the Disney flick. The Disney squid flick. All right. Thanks again wow. for listening to the oh, World no, Post. You squid <laughs> Thanks for listening to the World Post podcast. You guys keep on rolling, eh? and we'll see you in a squiddle bit. <laughs> <laughs> go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Microphone spit on the stage, I'm a major Amazed with my myths, with my digits There's no limits, cast incantations and spells Warlocks and wizards, feel blizzards to face fires And hell, I come correct, protect the party With the field of force, whether it's journeys or turnies It curse kings and courts to put down your missiles And your pistol precursors I'm a mercenary, adversary, sorcerer, surfer All you surfers, I'm a surfer Make yourself a setback, so you better get back Put a jinx on your jetpack I'm an arcane painting, and see my sanity's waning My present is unpleasant, give your essence a draining I'm not complaining Make me wiggle my fingers, I will leave you with the lesson when you